Hello, everyone. It's Jack Cotton, luxury real estate expert, author, and agent. We're talking about 12 deadly business planning sins. We made a lot of progress last week. We'll make even more today. Failing to gather the actual data you need to create your plan is deadly business planning sin number five. You've got to do a deep dive analysis of the business you did this current year. So if you download the business plan I talked to you about last week at luxurybusinessplan.com, one of the tabs is, looks like this, and there's all these white boxes. Whenever you see a white box or one of my spreadsheets, that's where you enter data. All these numbers down here automatically calculate once you enter the data. So you want to enter, you know, how many listing leads did you have last year? How many appointments did you have? How many did you, listings did you take last year? All these numbers are in here, and you just have to fill them out. So this year, if you haven't had a business plan before, you're going to have to go through your calendar, Outlook, Day Timer, whatever you use, day by day, week by week, and count up all your appointments, your showings, your buyer appointments, your listing appointments, your listing presentations, listing leads, however you keep track of it. And it may not be 100% accurate, but it's enough to get you started to build your business plan, but not taking the time to gather the data to create a good foundation for creating your business plan going forward is a deadly business planning sin. Now, if you're new to the business, you don't have any data to use. So what you're going to have to do is sit down and talk to some experienced agents in your office and ask them what are good numbers to put in here, some good estimated numbers that you can use. These numbers now become goals also, not necessarily what you accomplished the year before. Okay, deadly business planning sin number six is not planning for the unexpected. You've got to have a backup plan. Things don't always go the way you planned. I mean, what if you're... I don't know, what if your broker sells the company to somebody else? What if your manager leaves and a new manager comes in? What if you have an assistant or a helper staff person and they decide to quit? What if I was talking to an agent a couple of years ago who I was coaching who bought my book and she was in New Zealand and we were Skyping and she said, we have this, um, what do you call this? Oh, volcano. We have this volcano erupt and my town is gone. What do I do? What's my backup plan? So we came up with a backup plan, but how do you ever expect something like that where a volcano takes out your entire market in one day? So you've got a plan for the unexpected. Have a backup plan so that you are prepared when it happens. Hopefully it never does, but it's always good to be prepared. So action items for next time are, how are you going to debrief last year's numbers? Are you going to go through Outlook? Are you going to go through your day timer? Do you have, can you search your emails? Find a way. The cool thing about my business plan is if you keep track of it next year, you can fill in numbers every month so that you won't have to do this big job we're talking about here today. And also think about what is your backup plan? What are some of the things that could go wrong for you in the upcoming year? Maybe it's a health issue, heaven forbid, anything. But start thinking about what kind of backup plans you have so that you can be ready if something like that happens. Your best backup plan, of course, is to sign up for LuxuryRealEstateUnplugged.com. Go to the site, check it out, log in, and we'll see you live on the first Tuesday of each month. Until then, make it a great week.